two tonight at six. A warning for families. When you go to the Carowinds or other amusement parks, do you zip your cell phone tightly into a pocket or purse? Well, if you don't, you might want to start. This past weekend, a woman was hit in the head after a cell phone flew out of another rider's pocket. And did you know you might be on the hook for those medical bills if you're responsible? Tonight, Consumer Reporter Bill McGinty digs into the local policies to keep riders safe. I'm never going back there again. I will not. I'm, I'm scared. Rianne Mayfield says the enjoyment of riding roller coasters has turned traumatizing because of what she says happened on the ride Twisted Timbers at King's Dominion on Sunday. We we're going up and down hills and I had noticed that there was a black object flying at me and I couldn't really pinpoint what it was at the time. And all of a sudden I'm feeling the impact of it hitting my face. Mayfield says that's when she started to feel something that felt like blood all over her face. I didn't realize how severe it was until I saw the faces of the onlookers. A spokesperson for King's Dominion said the first aid staff immediately helped her with her injury. They also said there are signs and lockers at the entrances to the rides stating that valuables need to be stored or fully secured. So how about that guy who owned the phone? He thought he had zipped his pocket, but I guess he didn't zip it. Steve Benjamin is a legal analyst. If a passenger, despite a park's best efforts, decides to do something kind of dumb, and as a result, somebody else gets injured. Well, the responsibility, the fault, lies exclusively with that passenger. Rianne had to get three stitches in her forehead and suffered a slight concussion. And she's hoping amusement parks might strengthen their policies in the future. I feel like they should implement that. If you do have a cell phone, that it does need to be placed in the bend because things like this could be avoided. With thrill rides at Carowinds, we wanted to know what their policy is. They responded in fury speed to us saying, quote, please leave all loose and valuable articles with a non-rider or in a locker or ensure they are fully secured at all times. <laughs> Ultimately, it's up to you, the rider. Be responsible and remember, it's okay to scream on these rides. Just don't make other people scream because of your carelessness. I'm Bill McGinty, NBC Charlotte.